Hello folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can optimize your QBitTorrent in order to increase downloading speed just by following some simple steps. If QBitTorrent takes ages to download torrent files and the download rate is extremely low, chances are that your internet connection isn't strong enough to assist the torrent client in downloading files faster. If changing your internet connection isn't an option, or you already have a decent connection, you can increase download speed by tweaking some QBitTorrent settings. Before we start optimizing the QBitTorrent client, here are some tips you should follow to get the best download speed. Step number one. Basic tips to follow before optimizing QBitTorrent. Make sure you choose a healthy torrent file. Healthy torrent files have a high seeders to leeches ratio, meaning the seeders outnumber the leeches. Disconnect all devices connected to the same internet connection and close any active downloads and processes using your network resources. Using VPNs and proxy servers can help us bypass the limits put on us by our ISPs while downloading torrents. The connection speed and stability of Ethernet connections tend to be better than their wireless counterparts. DNS servers assigned to you by Your ISP aren't always the fastest. Alternatives like Google's public DNS are more stable and provide faster response times. Whitelist the QBitTorrent client in the Microsoft Defender firewall and temporarily disable third-party antivirus and other security software. Step number two. Ensure that the upload and download limits are set to infinite. The download limit in the QBitTorrent client refers to the maximum rate at which torrents can be downloaded. Having no cap means the client can use all available resources and get as high a download speed as possible. The upload limit, on the other hand, refers to the maximum rate at which downloaded files on your computer are shared with other peers or leechers. Upload and download rate limits are set to infinity by default, and it's recommended not to tinker with these limits. Most often, users limit the upload rate to save bandwidth and get faster download rates but the torrent client's choking mechanism compromises download rates when upload rates are limited. Making the download process much slower. So, go to the Tools tab and select Options. Then, go to the Speed tab and set the upload and download rate limits to infinity. Note, in some cases, limiting the download rate to a value slightly higher than what you would like to achieve increases the overall download speed. Therefore, if you have such a figure in mind, Limit the download speed by that and see if it makes any difference. If this changes the download rate negatively, don't forget to revert it. Step number three. Modify privacy settings. Go to the BitTorrent tab in the options window of QBitTorrent and make the following changes there. Ensure the enabled DHT, decentralized network. Enable peer exchange, PEX, and enable local peer discovery boxes are checked. These features increase the number of torrent sources and improve the stability of torrent downloads. In the drop-down menu next to encryption mode, select Allow Encryption. Disable torrent queuing and seeding limits if they are enabled. Check the box beside Automatically add these trackers to new downloads. After that, visit a website with updated torrent trackers, such as Torrent Tracker List, and copy the trackers list. Then, paste those trackers into the box at the bottom of the BitTorrent tab. Afterward, click Apply and hit OK. Step number four. Configure the connection settings. Here's how to configure QBitTorrent's connection settings correctly if you've tweaked them before. Select TCP and TP as your preferred peer connection protocol. Ensure the box beside use UPnP slash N80 PMP port forwarding from my router is checked. Configuring a blocked or closed port in your client will prevent QBitTorrent from connecting to all peers, thereby reducing download speed. To ensure that doesn't happen, click on the random button next to the port used for incoming connection several times to see which port gives the best download speed. The maximum number of connections per torrent is set at 100 by default. Try increasing this number to see if it makes a difference. If you've been using a proxy server, select none from the drop-down menu next to type. Step number 5. General tips for downloading files faster on QBitTorrent. The instructions provided so far should have accelerated the download speed of the Qubit Torrent client already. But for an even faster download, follow these tips. Don't download multiple torrent files at the same time. This will then allocate all available bandwidth to downloading a single file, resulting in a faster download. Qubit Torrent allows users to prioritize downloads when more than one torrent file is being downloaded at the same time. 
BitTorrent clients can then allocate more resources to prioritize downloads and finish them first. So, prioritize the torrent you want to get downloaded faster. The time at which you run the torrent download also has a significant impact on download speed. If you download the torrent when there are more seeders available, you will definitely get a faster download. While there are some exceptions, it's best to download torrents during the daytime in the US. I hope you liked this video. Somehow these tips might help you increasing downloading speed in Qubit Torrent, then don't forget to give a like and share this with your friends and family. Till then subscribe to my channel for more amazing tips and tricks videos.